going to be doing the Great Barrier Reef Health because there's been a lot of um, controversy about it other than the election, which kind of trumps it. <laughs> um, so this is a map of Australia, and the Great Barrier Reef is off the coast of Queensland in the northeast side of Australia. And the Great Barrier Reef is um, visible from space. It is so large. Uh, it is 2,300 uh, kilometers long, ecosystem made of thousands of different reefs, hundreds of islands, and over 600 types of hard and soft coral. I'm using kilometers because for anyone that doesn't want to live in the U.S. anymore, it, we're the only people that really use feet and inches. Not really, but you kind of got to get used to it. Um, there is a single structure. Uh, it pretty much carries itself almost completely solid throughout the uh, entire span of it. It is made up of completely living organisms. It's um, listed as a natural object, but um, if you do further research, it is a living creature on the earth. Um, it is a World Heritage Center, a spiritual point for Australian Aboriginals, and it is a large tourist attraction. Many people go scuba diving and deep sea diving just to look at it. Uh, then the things that are affecting it are climate change, pollution, the crown of thorns, starfish, and overfishing are the main threats. But recent oil spills and shipping accidents cause um, lots of uh, havoc more to the inhabitants. Uh, did you know there were diseases that reefs could get? They can. They also have vaccinations. The vaccinations are so expensive, by the ounce, they're selling for almost $1,000. Uh, for the crown of thorns, uh, the outbreak could be one of the ending factors for the reef. 62% of the reef is coated in these uh, giant, or almost uh, five square feet, and they're giant starfish that have all these spines on them and they grow along eating out the chemicals that help reproduce coral uh, just all along the coast. 62% is covered with it, which is crazy because that's a lot of uh, them. And uh, another one is skeletal eroding band, which is a uh, completely white bony coral that grows over and suffocates. Um, all of the animals that help with the ecosystem around the coral, and so that then they can't help circulate the coral any longer. And I think we all know some old white bony things that are suffocating. <laughs> that was a bad one. Um, climate change, uh, the bleaching effect, which is happening from um, little particles in the water that are getting so hot they're releasing toxins that are bleaching the reef causing all of its beautiful rainbow colors to uh, change um, just to uh, pasty and flaky and it flakes off clouding the water. 78% uh, of the Great Barrier Reef is bleached. And overfishing, the plentiful Great Triton uh, fish, uh, only three years ago there were 300,000 of them. Now there are only 150,000. We've lost almost half we've lost pretty much half of all of their um, uh, species and they're going very extinct and are a main food source for anyone that fishes off of the coast. Dolphins and turtles are being caught and sold um, in flea markets. Three out of 10 get caught and um, their fins removed and then put back into the ocean and get sold. So since 1985, the Great Barrier Reef has lost more than half of the reef to these causes. Uh, we need to save the Great Barrier Reef. Think about Nemo. <laughs> Thank you.